Okay, so next up, we are going to create a Hello World Lightning Web Component with static HTML. So let's open the VS Code, Visual Studio Code. And we're going to add the project uh, file, open folder. And I am going to navigate to this guy versus park this guy and open boom all right nice so we have this build apps with lwc let's flip back to our trailhead so um let's expand and then create an uh, lwc folder and then we're going to make a hello web component La component folder so force app lwc we're gonna make right click there we're gonna make a new one and then um create new um lightning component where is it new folder yeah let's just make new folder actually no i don't want to make a new folder Let's right click instead of making a new folder at the bottom here, create lightning web component. Um, but what do we want to name it again? Let's flip back. Hello web component. I'm going to copy that. So I'm going to right click at the bottom, create lightning web component. And hello web component on the default folder there. Boom. So now we have create a hello web component. Let's go to the HTML file and grab the template from here. Copy this guy and paste and save. Okay, so it's just basically saying hello world. Pretty simple. Now the XML, I'm gonna copy that. Flip back here. This is the XML and then paste well not right we're supposed to just um is exposed uh, let's just copy that yeah not the whole thing there boom so it is exposed so you can use this um on the trailhead playground so you can drag this component uh, it's available for uh, app page, record page, and also the home page. Okay, I'm going to save that. Flip back here. Deploy the updated code um, to the Oracle. So I'm going to just right click on here. Okay, right click and deploy source to org. It's going to deploy it. Boom, it's done. So flip back. Now add the hello world component to a page so which page um, app launcher or spark and then we're going to edit that and then we're going to add the hello world component to the top right hand column so here okay top right hand column save all right that's it activate and all the stuff okay and then that's it right so let's do that. I'm going to actually go, we deploy it. So I'm going to go to my playground and Ursus Spark should be here. If I search this, come on, dude. Ursus Spark. And then we're just going to edit this page, gear icon, edit page. And we're going to drag our new custom. Hello world. Woohoo, it's available. Hello, world. that's all. And we're going to save and activate and all those bunch. Activate. And make it as a default. And save. And close. Hello, world. It is working, baby. 
All right. Flip back um, here. Oh, no. Here. What else? Uh, that's done. Congratulations. We've done it. Use data binding. Okay. So let's add some data to our component. So we're going to edit our hello web component HTML and replace the code with um, hello greeting with a variable. All right. So I'm going to copy this guy. Boom. Copy that. And back to my HTML. Um, expand that HTML. So instead of hello world, we're going to say hello greeting, whoever that is. This is a variable, okay? I'm going to save that, flip back here. Now, on the hello component, uh, hello web component.js, replace its content with the following. So, greeting is trailblazer. Okay, I'm going to copy that. Uh, not JS, we can just, we can even later on maybe even set this with the user who's logged in, but now it's just going to say hello trailblazer. Um, flip back here. Okay, what else? Then we want to, to deploy, right? Okay. And right click here again and deploy. Source to org. And now if we flip back here, we should see hello trailblazer. Right, let's explain. So greeting equals trailblazer is a variable and the template is just displaying the variable's value, which is set to trailblazer. So if I refresh this guy, it should say, hello, trailblazer. Not yet because it's cached. To do that, I'm just gonna hit edit page and I'm gonna hit save. That's like just to refresh the whole thing. So it's picking up the new one, here we go. Hello, Trailblazer. And we're done. I think that's next. Let's go one step further and make the data editable by adding an input field. So in VS Code, in the HTML, add the following line under Hello Greeting. Okay, I'm going to flip to my VS Code to the HTML here. So under Hello Greeting, put that. Okay. So we, we have a lightning input, the label is name, the value is the trailblazer on change, right? Change that, okay? The, the display there. So I'm going to flip back there. All right. Next up, we're going to update our hello web component.js and add the following lines under greeting tra trailblazer. So we have handle greeting change function if an event took place the greeting change it with the current value okay i'm going to copy that guy flip back here and back to the js so after greeting here put it there handle uh, greeting change so if there is an event uh, that changes the input value we're going to replace the greeting with the new value Pretty cool, right? Flip back. Uh, deploy, and we're going to try it out. Okay, so I'm going to deploy. Right click here and deploy to org. Okay, flip back here. As you can see, it's still going to be cached. It's still uh, showing the old one. So edit the page again here. And then just save it again, boom. And then just go back, you're done. Come on, did I hit go back, back? There, if I change this, Jimmy, hello Jimmy, look at that. Hello, boom. <laughs> hello, John, hello, Jane. It keeps changing, pretty cool, right? So, I think that's it. Um, you have established data, oh. Next up, use expression. So in VS Code, edit the HTML and replace title lightning web component with title capitalized greeting. Okay, I'm going to copy that. 
um, here. So HTML, the title of it over here. Whoops. Did I okay? Page title capitalized greeting. So now the title is a variable. Which one is the title? The title is this one here. This is the title, Lightning Web Component, okay? So this, we are going to change to a variable. So we are going to define the variable value. So on the JS, I'll replace, uh, oh wait, to replace hello greeting with today is current date. Okay, let's change that. Today is current date. Um, hello greeting, that is the HTML, this one. Yeah, where is the hello greeting part? Oh, here. Change the hello greeting on there. Paste today is current date. I'm going to save that. And then on the JS, so current date, we define new date, um, change it to string, and then get capitalized greeting return hello this greeting to uppercase. That's pretty cool. So I'm going to put this. On the JS, this guy. So this is handle greeting change. So let's put it here. Okay. Now let's put it afterward there. So so we have the handle greeting change and then get capitalized greeting which is basically returning the this greeting here, right? But move it to uppercase, okay? To all capitalized letter. Now current date is basically a new date object and then we convert that to string. Okay, I'm gonna save that. I think that's it. Um, yep. Deploy, the updated. Now we can try it. So I'm gonna deploy this whole uh, Hello Web component. Right click, deploy source to org. And then edit the page again. So it refresh the cache. Otherwise you're gonna keep seeing the old one and save again and go back. There, hello Trailblazer. Today is Sunday. November 7th, 2021. So if I change this, hello, Jimmy. Hello, Jimmy. Today is ta -da -ta -da -da -da. Hello, Johnny. That's really cool, right? So that's just the beginning of it. The beginning of your creation. All right. I think we're done there. So let's verify the step. I'm going to verify step and earn uh, 100 points. Not much, but we're just following steps, right? We're not actually doing anything. We're just following the steps. Okay, I'll see you on the next video where we are going to work with a single record. Bada bing, bada boom. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce App Exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video, and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word, watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself. Bada bing, bada boom.